Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now let's get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one, draw condensed structural formulas for all products obtained from the complete hydrolysis of the following triacylglycerol under acetic conditions. Okay, so this is an example of a triacylglycerol. You see it's a very large uh, molecule. So let's write this down. Okay, so here is the structure that was given in the question. And when we have a hydrolysis, of a triglycerol in general, our products are glycerol, plus the three fatty acids. So we can look at this structure by um, breaking the bonds kind of at each carboxylic acid group, just so we can visualize the type of products that we will get. So during this hydrolysis reaction, three water molecules will react. And like I mentioned earlier, glycerol is one of the products. So to draw glycerol, you can kind of picture it as this whole group right here. Oops. Okay, so I kind of boxed it out so that we can kind of see what its structure looks like. But I will still draw out the product. And you can see it contains all these alcohol groups. So that's how it got its name, glycerol. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to draw all the three fatty acids 
that were obtained if the complete hydrolysis of this triacylglycerol took place. So starting with the top substituent, I'm going to draw the carboxylic acid and then the long alkyl chain. Okay, if we count the total number of carbons, we have 14 in the chain plus two, one from the carboxylic acid group and then the other one from the end methyl group. So since we have 16 in total, this can be written as hexa or six, deca or 10, so 16, noic acid. So every time we have a carboxylic acid group, we know it will end in ic acid. So I'm going to box this in. And then if we look at our second fatty acid that is formed, let's try to name this one as well. So there is a total of 14 carbons in the chain. So I can name it tetra decanoic acid. And we can put this in a box. And then for our last product. Let's draw out the carboxylic acid group first. And we kind of get this long chain that has a double bond in the middle. So the name of this compound is actually oleic acid. Okay, so these are all of the products that are obtained from the complete hydrolysis of this triacylglycerol under acetic conditions. Okay, so the junior tutor said, the hydrolysis of a triacylglycerol produces glycerol and three fatty acids. The given triacylglycerol has two saturated fatty acids. So they, their names are actually palmitic acid and muristic acid, and one unsaturated fatty acid, oleic acid. The condensed structural formulas of the products from its complete hydrolysis under acidic conditions are as follows. Glycerol, CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH, yep. Then this is the hexadecanoic acid we drew. Uh, its name is also palmitic acid. So CH3, CH214, COOH. Muristic acid, CH3, CH212, COOH. So this is also tetradecanoic acid. And then they have the oleic acid down here. Yep, so this solution is correct.